I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. Here on this sunshiny day, I wanted to talk to you about cleansing certain crystals using the sun. When you think of the sun, what type of energy comes to mind? The sun is all about joy and radiance. It's very warming. Some people find it very similar to the energy of fire, but whereas the element of fire is all about change and transmutation, the sun is all about growth and expansion. Plants require the sun to grow, and as humans we require the sun for vitamin D and for our overall well-being. The sun is also associated with a very yang, godlike, masculine energy, because it's about expansion and exploration. But when we're in the sun as well, it's all about leisure and recreation, and this is the type of energy that you can relate to and work with when working with the sun. There are certain crystals that also hold a very solar or sun-like energy. Firstly, their sunstone, this beautiful orange crystal, encourages us to lighten up, to be a bit more playful in life and not to be so serious. But it's also a really good one to work with if you want to expand your horizons. Maybe you're looking for a promotion at work, or you want to increase awareness about a business venture or something that you're really passionate about. If this relates to you, then sunstone can be a really nice crystal to work with. Another crystal is imperial topaz, a rare orange variety of topaz, which I call the crystal of helping you glow. It's good for increasing your metabolism, helping you stick to exercise regimes, and allowing your inner beauty and glow to shine a little bit more. A really nice one to work with. Another crystal that harmonizes with the sun is called Libyan Desert Glass formed in the same way as the very well-known Moldavite. This was formed when a meteor landed in the Libyan desert. So this is formed through a combination of desert sand and stardust. This is a powerful crystal that helps to stimulate the solar plexus chakra. I call it the stone of the silent warrior. It helps to empower you so that you can get on with your spiritual path and follow that path without having to make a big rah-rah or noise or need anyone's approval or attention. You just get down to work and get it done. It's a really good stone for keeping you motivated. And finally, another one I really like to work with when working with solar and sun energy is called Sunset Aura Quartz. This is created using clear quartz and an alchemical reaction fusing it with gold, copper and iron. So the gold brings healing, the copper brings a movement of energy, and the iron brings strength. This crystal is a really nice crystal to use when you want to bring more warmth into your life, or creativity, or embrace your close relationships and bring them more warming and fulfilling. So how do we cleanse these different crystals with the sun? Easy. Simply leave them out in the sun. But you do want to be careful because leaving some crystals out in the sun all day can actually affect their colour and they can tend to fade and lose their vibrancy. Ideally, I like to leave my crystals out from sunrise until I leave my home for the day, or alternatively, when you get home, until the sun sets at night. You should really be avoiding the hours of probably about 10am to 3pm each day. Now the most powerful day to cleanse your crystal of the whole year is the summer solstice, the most powerful day of the year. However, just leaving your crystals out any day in the sun will have a powerful effect. So any crystal that you're using for the attributes I discussed at the start of this video, that joy, that radiance, that success, all those yang, godlike energies, these crystals are really well suited to being cleansed by the sun. There are other elements and other ways of cleansing crystals, such as using fire, air, earth and water, as well as the magical moon. And I discuss these on other videos in my YouTube channel, which you can check out below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's opened your mind of how you may work with the sun and its beautiful solar energies, and it helps to connect you to your crystals a little bit more by thinking about how you want to cleanse each one and treating it as an individual, rather than just putting them all out under the moon or using just one element. Think about the energy of the crystal and the element you're using to cleanse it with, and you'll find that your crystal connections will strengthen and enhance really, really quickly. Enjoy. I hope that the sun is shining wherever you are today. Blessed be.